In my mid-20s, I went through an intense doubting period that, quite frankly, terrified me. I trusted in Christ for salvation as a young child during a neighborhood Good News Bible Club, but had never really learned to live in him. Actually, there was a lot I hadn't learned. And as an adult, questions started stealing my peace. Hi, I'm Jennifer Slattery, and I believe writer. And when those doubts started rising up, I wanted to shove them down, but I also needed answers. Most specifically, I needed to know with as much certainty as possible that this holy book we read from each Sunday was truth worth basing my life on. This led to a frightening year-long investigation where I worried I was literally investigating myself into hell. I'm grateful to say God used that time to not only answer my doubts, but to deepen my faith so that I now know with certainty that God's word is indeed that, God's holy word preserved for thousands of years by him. But that whole experience also showed me his heart. I expected him to become angry with my questions, but instead he responded with such gentleness and grace. This has always been God's way. Consider how Jesus responded to the questions posed by John the Baptist when he was in prison. He knew Jesus was the Christ. He was his cousin, for goodness sakes. He had to have heard stories of Jesus's miraculous birth. And then later, when Jesus approached, John had boldly proclaimed, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. But then life got hard, really hard, and doubts crept in. If Jesus was God, Why didn't he rescue John from prison? Had they all been mistaken? Was he maybe not the Messiah after all? And so filled with the doubts that creep up when we're in life storms and dungeons, he sent his disciples to ask Jesus, are you the one who is to come or should we expect someone else? To which Jesus responded, tell John what you've seen and heard. In other words, he answered John's doubts with verifiable reminders of proof. But it's what he said next that most clearly revealed his grace. Addressing the crowd, he said, this is the one about whom it is written. I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way before you. Truly, I tell you, Jesus said, among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. When John doubted, Jesus answered John's doubts and affirmed his love for him. Even God's prophet experienced doubt, and we probably will as well. And when we do, may we have the courage to bring our questions straight to the one with all the answers. He won't get angry at us for honestly seeking truth. Instead, he'll meet us with gentleness, love, and grace because that's the kind of God we serve.